right, guys. I think we got a we got some problems coming up ahead here. We gotta fight Plantera on expert mode. That isn't any easy business. And I'm using my old mouse because all my mouses aren't working. I have three fucking mouses. They like this one I just got and it stopped working. Like it worked for a little bit and then just stopped working. Like I don't know what the fuck. And then I turn it off, turn it back on, and it worked for a little bit. Stop working. I don't even fuck mouses. I'm trying to get an actual good mouse. Not just some cheap shit ones that I'm using right now, but I'm I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm trying to find the perfect one. It's gonna be wired this time. But yeah, we're gonna fight Blantera. So I went through a solar eclipse, got a broken hero sword, and we're gonna combine that with the knight's edge or wherever the hell that is. Right here. Uh I got or maybe we should do it Excalibur. I think Knight's Edge stronger. Uh then Blood Moon happened. And it killed a bunch of stuff there. I think it was also Full Moon, Blood Moon. Do werewolf spawn on Blood Moon? Oh no, all I know is I sold like three moonstones. But then I got banana rings from the uh the clowns. And this is I know you can have like ten at once, but I really like this weapon. It's dope as hell. Alright, um other than that though, when's if I take this off? String will be white. You know what? We're gonna put this accessory away finally. Because I want to clear up these accessory spots here just in case, uh, I don't know, I need any more spots because I really don't use them. This, this doesn't even count as like being worn. What the hell? Alright, might as well take that off and put it in our vanity. Because I don't really wear that often. So, let's do this. I also got this. This is, this is really annoying, but this is a really good weapon. So, let's combine this knight's edge. I think we do it right here. At the anvil. Ooh. Right here? Right here. True Knight's Edge. We got an annoying True Knight's Edge. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Can we not have it be annoying though? Let me get that strong. No. 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 Oh. Holy shit. Size is true there, but stop giving me shit. There we go, superior. Oh man, this does a lot of damage. But there's a difference between this, like this can hit through walls. I think we're getting rid of the spear. I think it's about time we got rid of the spear. Bye bye spear. Oh man, these are all good weapons. But my inventory is getting more and more full, I hate it. All right, let's, so we gotta go. I have, I have, do I have enough to make a turtle piece? I do. Now chlorified armor obviously does more damage. Uh, percent wise than the turtle armor thing about the turtle armor is really tanky now for plantera i can go really tanky or i can just rely on the defense from these weapons from these things because i have warding on everything except for actually i don't have warding on the fire gauntlet what just rely on the defense of the uh of all of this and maybe have like the that equip that equip like look two defense four defense like that's a lot of defense just from passives but i don't really know i feel like we might have to go turtle armor for this but expert mode plantera i fought it before it is all hell breaks loose so we'll, we'll craft the uh, turtle armor let's do that i don't know if we'll be fighting plantera today what time is it it's 3 p.m no that's too early in the day we can't even fight anything i'm gonna sneeze and also put this away <laughs> oh, fuck all right so i will uh I don't know. Let's let's go let's go fuck around. I guess we're gonna use our weapons we got here. And we're gonna go fuck around. Uh, I have teleporters that lead everywhere. We'll go to the jungle see if I can farm turtle shells right now. But I'm gonna do uh, I'm probably gonna do jump cuts and see if we can fight Plantera because I really want to. But let's head over here. Speak about the tortoise, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm getting some frame rate droppage for in Terraria for once. Probably because I just like restarted my computer and. uh... Like, I restarted and just started playing instantly. Because I needed to get some more Terraria recorded. That, or I need to actually, like, render up some episodes. Because I have not done that yet. We need the, uh... What's that thing, that... Clintaminator? We need to... I need to con contaminate some things here. Uh-oh. Take a lot of damage. I'm being a melee person. I'm trying to be as tanky as I possibly can. I take a billion damage. Oh, we we can just hold this down. What am I doing? Drink those potions. Get the hell out of here. You go die over there. Damn, I actually killed him way over there. 
So yeah, we we're getting really close to life root cap. Thank God for that, because when we use a uh, life force potion, this planetary right there. When we use a life force potion, I think that brings us to near 600 health, which is really good. Yeah, I'm just trying. I've been finding them pretty easily. Uh, it's really good to have the. Hold up. If you see right here, have the metal detector because that detects good things and it says life crystal and also says life root. And I've just noticed that recently. I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. Why have I not paid more attention to this? But uh, there's life root. Is that that's what we're looking for? Not life crystal. Um, this is very dangerous with low health right now. There's a life crystal I think around here somewhere. And I need to bring a Splunker potion down here. I know somewhere down here there's a life crystal. So I'm just I'm looking at the metal detector right now. Right, life root. There we go. Where? Oh, I got a warding nature gift down here somewhere. Oh, okay, we got an area. We got no area over here to the left. We're gonna go in with our light pickaxe here. Dang, look at the speed on that baby. Oh, it's not here though. Wait, hey, we're about down here. Oh, we got some more areas opening up to us. That's why. I, oh, there's the life root. We found it. Hey, fuck you, dude. So I have an idea for uh, future Terraria playthroughs. Even though we don't, the, the future Terraria is probably gonna be kind of bleak. I'm not saying it's gonna be boring. Future for this Terraria game, not any other Terraria game. Uh, it's gonna be pretty like bleak. I'm guessing because they already said the next update is gonna be focused on wiring. Who cares about wiring? Uh, I'm not trying to, trying to, you know, like bash the game in any way. Like, wiring is cool, you know. It's helping me right now. It's helping me teleport everywhere. But, uh, the feet, the wiring mechanics seem okay to me, so I don't really know what they're gonna be doing to it. Maybe add some more. That might be actually be cool if they add some more. But uh, I've thought of another little like playthrough we can do, and we've done all four classes so far. I'm doing. Summoner on a single pl not single player, multiplayer with Ryan. And then I'm doing melee right now in this expert mode, but I thought of another uh, little thing we can do. We can do like an all fishing class. And uh, something like, oh, the only way you can get all your items and stuff is by fishing everywhere. Because you can get like a bunch of stuff from fishing, including the angler too. Like he'll give you a bunch of goodies that you can get. And uh, do quests where mainly you go through use fishing through most of the game. Now hard mode stuff might rules might need to change along then, but you'll be able to make armor because you get a lot of ore from fishing. Uh oh, this is a bad idea. I'm going in firing, but you can get ore from fishing, and you get that's probably the easiest way to get ore is by fishing. Um, and yeah, it's definitely plausible. Cause I actually think I saw a tweet from the uh, developers Sanks and Red Digit. They they had like a, a contest together, like. We're doing a playthrough with going doing nothing but fishing. I was like, well, that's pretty interesting. So I been thinking about it recently, and I'm like, that might be some good to do. Be some interesting, a little a challenge. I haven't done too many challenges in Terraria, other than this, like right now. Where the fuck did that come from? There's two of them here. Look at this. That's that's a, that's a jerk move. All right, uh, but yeah, I'll be right back once I gather up enough turtle shells. Maybe definitely not even definite. Maybe gather up enough life fruit we have to gather up a knife a knife enough life fruit we, we're gonna be in dire need because it's gonna get crazy i think fire is also gonna help so the fire gauntlet will help a lot did i not reforge it didn't i talk to the goblin like why did i talk to him and then not reforge the heck? get the hell out of here all right so i just found the skeleton merchant uh, and i found this right here magic lantern something's a magic lantern that exposes nearby treasure Hell yeah. Get rid of this damn heart. I don't even want this anymore. Yo. Oh, we can find life fruits even more easily? What? There's a life fruit detected here. Why is there a rabbit down here? Okay, so I think we're ready to go. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe we're ready to go. Uh, so, let me let me get over there first. Boom, shakalaka. I set up an arena, so let's drop down. Hey, turtle. Ow. Look at my health after that turtle hit me once. Oh god. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't gonna be the funnest thing, is it? Oh well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not excited for this. But uh, we'll try our best here. 
So let me just prop this up like right here. All right. So this is what this is what we got going on. Now we're gonna have to crowd control during this fight, or at least put out a lot of DPS to multiple enemies during this fight. Get out of here. Oh, it died of a uh, burned. Uh. And uh, the best way I can see doing that is either this or yo-yo. I think I'm going to use this most of the fight. Probably. So, the goal here... There's not that much room. I think I'm going to be fine down here. But the goal here is to be able to fly around, dash, and just keep doing that over and over again. But we got this like big area that I need to get rid of because this is annoying. I need a more of a circle to fight in. But we'll see what we can get done. I'm going to just remove a little bit of this right here. Can you guys, like, die? Alright. We're going to move a little bit of this out of the way. Now, I was careful moving this because I didn't want to hit the plantera bolt. Can I, can I get there right there? There you go. Alright. Go back into auto mine, see if we can get all of this. And then we'll go back into manual mine just in case. Okay, just in case. So our goal is to be able to go around and dash. We need these. We need these fucking boots. That seems like the only way we're gonna be able to do the circle with the speed. Like we get the speed in the air. All right, I don't know. But this is what we got going on so far. I'm gonna have to grab some potions, do a little bit more uh, fixes to the arena, and we'll be right back. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Uh, it's either gonna go terribly or it's gonna go good. We will see, won't we? I don't know, I'm trying to decide if having this will be better or not. Probably will. But we don't have much DPS. Like, we're gonna have to, like, use our... Just survival in general in this fight. But let's see what we can get done, shall we? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. I think I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. This is too much. This is too much already. Throw the bananas. Where did all my health go? What the fuck? Yo, I don't remember you losing all that health. Didn't I have like full health? Did we get Oh god. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Alright, we just gotta get get him into second form. I don't even think having platforms here was a good idea. I think it would have been better if I uh, probably just had no platforms and just flew around the whole time. Probably would have been better. I don't know. But this is going to be a long, treacherous fight. Mainly because we don't have a lot of DPS to be putting out. But, uh, you know, we'll try. Oh my. We'll try our best here. Probably not a good idea to use the yo yo if I don't got the yo yo thing equipped. But I might just use the Knight's Edge, which I have to, like, fucking click all the time to use it. But I'm okay with that. It's not too bad having to do this. But once he gets into his second form, uh, that's when everything gets really crazy. And uh, I don't like I don't like the second form. It's scary. That second form is something to behold. You know, all we gotta do is just like avoid his claws, his balls, getting hit by him too. Like he has a lot of balls bouncing around. Dude, he's got plenty full of balls, and he has a disease of some sort that gives you more than uh, two balls. Uh oh. Why do you pick up speed a little bit there? Why am I... What? I, like, stop firing my weapons. When's he enter that, like, mode? When's he enter the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. See, this is the fucking crazy mode. I don't even think I should really dash, to be honest. So I feel like I'm gonna run into things if I do dash. Ugh. No! See, if you run into things during dash, then you're fucked. But I feel like... If I can just time everything right, it's gonna be all in the timing right now. We can. Uh oh, that's not good. E. E. Okay. Okay. Not looking bad. I hope. Come on, we got ten seconds to hold in. Ten seconds to hold in there. Huh. All right. See, this is the. Oh god. This is the crowd control part I was talking about. Alright, got a potion active. Oh god, this is terrible. This is terrible. No, why am I not fucking. I keep. How do I keep switching weapon? I switched to my zero slot again. <laughs> eh. 
All right, we're getting we're getting rid of most of the little heads attacking us. All right. We should be home free. We should be home free. We should be home free. Home free. Fuck you, Plantera. That was easy. That was easy. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we got nothing helpful to us. Uh, we can fight him again. I know there's a specific weapon he drops. Called the Seedler or something like that. Do these guys do more damage? Well, they do the same, and this one isn't even a buff. Buff version. Hold up, where is... No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> no, not that either. Where's the eyeballs? Oh, they're not following me. Okay. So now if I do this... I should have two of them with me? Hey, pygmies. All right, so... Uh, we got the spore sack. Summon spore sacks over time level damage enemies. I don't really like this item that much. It's not a good item. It's not a bad item either, but it's not good. But let's just see. Let's just see these spores that summon over time. Well, there they are right there. You do you do summon a lot though. I'm not gonna lie. And I can see the upside of having a lot of these. But yeah, now we got the thing to the dungeon. I kind of see how much damage they do. Oh, it's not bad. That's not bad damage. That can help against another Plantera fight, but I, I like the shot we had there. Uh, one of the things is I might clear up like all of the things we just got lying around. Oh, they aggro to enemies too? That's actually really cool if they do that. They do aggro to enemies. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, we got another Plantera right here. All right, I guess we can fight another one, but I have to get all my buffs. And uh, I think I'm going to reset up the arena. And then that should end off this episode. And uh, we'll, see what we, we'll, see, we'll see if we can get some better loot from Plantera. Alright, so I want to talk about the point we're at in the playthrough right now. We're at the point in playthrough where we want to do... We want less damage and more defense. And it's more of a... We want to sustain the fight long enough to do damage and kill the boss. Rather than to do damage right away and kill the boss as fast as we can. That's where, that's where we're, on, we're at in the playthrough, building the uh, turtle armor. If I went for the chlorophyte armor, we have a lot less defense, and we'd also have to uh, we'd also have to worry more about DPS. But that's not what we're here to do. So, here's the plan this time. We're going straight up. Uh-oh, Plantera caught me off guard. We're going straight up. Fuck you, Plantera. You're going to have to come up here, Plantera. All right. We got our pygmies? All right, we got our pygmies. We can get probably cheap shots off of a Plantera right now. Is he slowly... He despawned, guys. <laughs> well, uh... I didn't really expect that to happen. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna end off this episode. I guess I'll fight Plantera off camera. It's good I didn't buff the potions, because I was about to. But uh, I don't know what happened there. I mean, I guess I went too fast, even though he was pretty damn close. I don't really know. I, I've had Planetary despawn on me a hundred thousand times, so I'm not surprised that he despawn on me now. Is there anything down here? Any Planetary bulbs nearby, just in case we can we can do it? Just a quick fight. Uh, no. I guess not. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm gonna fight him again, see if I can get that sword, because uh, I think the sword kind of has the same effect as the sack. Maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.